I'm starting off my day. I've been so addicted to clementines and I eat like maybe five a day lately. So good. I'm gonna try making a misugaru matcha latte today because I'm all about experimenting with different kinds of matcha lattes apparently. Misugaru is a powder comprised of a bunch of different grains so it is a very dense powder and it honestly makes you feel really full so this is gonna be my breakfast like it's gonna be my complete meal replacement this morning. Honey for a little bit of sweetness. I'm honestly still full from that latte. My lunch is gonna be pretty light. We're gonna go with busamari. Busamari is a Korean pickled radish wrap, and this is typically like a dish you bring to parties and banquets in Korean culture. The busam is usually like on this huge platter for everyone to share. So it's not like a typical dish you just eat by yourself, but because I have all the ingredients, it only requires vegetables. I'm just gonna go with that because I'm not that hungry. So this is a really low calorie, veggie forward dish that you can easily make at home. Let's get our ingredients. We got the moon, aka the pickled radish. They sell this at Korean grocery stores. Radish sprouts, cucumber, carrot, bell pepper, and avocado. I might throw in some mangoes in there too. Okay, I think that's it. Oh wait, that's not it. Dipping sauce is always honey mustard. I don't have honey mustard, so we have to make it. I only have classic yellow mustard and spicy brown mustard. Which one do I use as the base? I'll go with spicy brown. Some mayo. What else goes in honey mustard? Honey, lemon juice, or vinegar. Okay, we're good, we're good. teach you my way of cutting a mango. It's just a little messy, but it'll get the job done. We cut the sides off. Then we are going to get the edge of a glass to line up with the edge of the mango, like this. And we're gonna add pressure. And you definitely need a ripe mango for this or else it will not peel.
is so pretty. Cheers. Mmm. Every family has their own touch to these wraps. I've even seen like salami in some of these. So it's really up to your discretion. Good lunch. I wanted to try making kong bijijige for dinner. Bijijige is one of my favorite dishes. It is definitely like a granny food, is what I like to call it. It's only two o'clock right now. Obviously not time for dinner, but the main ingredient is soybean. The thing with soybean is that you have to rehydrate it by soaking it in water for eight to 12 hours. And I don't have eight to 12 hours. I'm soaking the soybeans for as long as I possibly can, leading up to when I start cooking. And then if the beans aren't fully hydrated, which they probably won't be, I'll toss them in the microwave and hopefully we'll get fully hydrated beans by then. This is what the soybeans look like when they're dried. They've actually expanded quite a bit and it's only been like two hours. It might actually be good by dinner time, but you know it's not ready because it looks a little wrinkly. They should look very plump when they're fully expanded. Just got back home from a quick errand and I'm checking on my soybeans right now. This honestly looks fully expanded to me. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use this as is. This is the consistency we want. Sesame oil, garlic, pork, Tashi broth that I made a couple days ago. So I'm glad I get to make you. my hair up for this. <laughs> Looks perfect. I always order Pichichika from Kunjip in K-Town, New York on 32nd Street. And this tastes just like Kunjip's. Mm, it's such a homey taste. A 
I'll probably end with another clementine for dessert and call it a day. Thanks for joining another What I Eat In A Day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.